All right, this is going to be the first in a series of um, frequently asked questions on iPhone programming. And here I am on the uh, uh, developer.apple.com site. Uh, so let's go ahead, and if you're brand new to iPhone programming, this may help you out with some uh, issues that you may have. So the first question that I get asked quite a bit, which I'm actually quite surprised I get asked, is uh, can I uh, develop iPhone programs on Windows, and uh, it's kind of like asking, you know, can I, can I play my ex my PlayStation 3 games on an Xbox 360? And no, you cannot develop uh, iPhone programs on Windows machine. You need a Mac to develop and to publish the uh, and to test the, the the programs. Okay, so um, let me go through an overview of, of everything about it, uh, iPhone programming. So you do need a Mac, and here we are on the uh, Apple developer website. And if you uh, go to this website and you click on the uh, iPhone developer program here, you'll see um, the portal that will get you in started on iPhone programming. And uh, the second question I get asked a lot is, how much does it cost to um, program for the iPhone? And here you go right here. Uh, you can download the software development kit called Xcode for free. Here is the um, some of the programs that are listed in the software development kit. So um, the software development kit is called Xcode, and it comes with Xcode, the uh, development environment, interface builder, which is uh, used for building your interfaces. Uh, Dash code is used for building uh, web applications that can also run on iPhone and uh, Quartz Composer is used for making graphics. You have a host of performance tools and then instruments, which I believe is also used for uh, improving the uh, speed of your programs that you create, and a host of utilities and whatnot. Okay, so you can download and install this software for free, but in order to actually get the, the programs you've created, like for example, here's a program I created here in Xcode, all right, and in order to get this uh, onto the actual device, you're going to need to enroll in one of these programs. The standard program costs $99 a year. And what that does is it allows you to um, unlock uh, your device so that you can test on there and then you can upload your applications to the App Store so that other people can download them and install them on their phones or iPod Touches. All right, and so um, we click on that. All right. And here's also a look at the, the two different programs and what they entail. All right, so um, $99 means you can develop and upload your applications to the App Store. They could be free applications or you could charge money for them. Once you upload your programs to the App Store, it doesn't cost you any money to upload them. Uh, Apple takes a percentage of whatever you charge. So if you charge $0.99 cents or something, I think Apple's going to take like $0.30 cents of that for themselves. Uh, which is actually quite a good deal considering how popular the App Store is. And as you can see, the Enterprise program costs $299, and what that is basically for, you can see the differences here between the Standard program and the Enterprise program. And uh, the Enterprise program basically is for, as you can see here, in-house distribution. All right, That's what the uh, Enterprise program is for. So if you had a business and all of your uh, employees had these iPhones and you wanted to create applications that just your business people would use you could uh, unlock a certain number um, as you can see of, of uh, iPhones and as you can see it is for creating proprietary in-house applications all right so most of you out there are probably going to want the standard program all right and that's going to meet your needs uh, ninety nine dollars uh, per year uh, to develop for this and if that seems like a lot of money to you it's really not um, most of the stuff I've looked into for developing for, for various platforms cost in the tens of thousands of dollars. So this is really, really nothing, really. OK, so that's uh, how much it costs. Um, the other thing I wanted to touch on was uh, the language it's written in. Here's Xcode. And uh, the language it's written in is uh, Objective-C. And so uh, you can get a look at some of the syntax here. It can be quite complex. If you're starting out in programming, Objective-C is not the first language you want to learn. You might want to learn like JavaScript or something first just to get the wheels uh, under you. And as you can see here, this is a game I'm building here. And you can see all the different classes that I've got. And I've already written probably about, I don't know, 
thousands of lines of code here. What you do is you install um, Xcode. I'll, I'll just give you an overview of, of how this works. You install Xcode, and then you would create a, uh, a new project. And then, as you can see, you can with Xcode you can create um, uh, Mac OS applications. Here's a plethora of different applications you can create. You can create Java applications. Okay, you can do various things, and uh, also you have templates for creating your iPhone. Uh, so you can create a. Uh, they have templates for, for example, OpenGL ES, which is for games, uh, utilities. Mostly view-based applications are going to be what you want to start out with. Okay, once you've done that, you'll this uh, this window will open up here, your your Xcode window with all your code in it. And uh, if you want to build your interface for your program, you can uh, double-click on one of these uh, interface builder files, and then here's your interface builder uh, file here. I'll show you how this starts. All right, we'll create a new interface builder project here and then all you have to do really is is uh, drag and drop uh, items from here you could drag a label into there you could drag a, a button and then you could add text all right okay so you can easily create your interface you save your interface it gets added to your project and then inside of Xcode you would build the um, code that would make your buttons and everything respond to what the user is doing all right, then you would save out your project, um, and then you would go back to once you've once you've uh, set yourself up. All right, you can once you've uh, paid your ninety nine dollars and gotten yourself set up, you would s set yourself up here and then go to your uh, portal, and then from here you can do all your things about your profile. I don't want to show you because you might get some of my personal information here, but. Um, you can uh, download all your getting started videos here, sample code, uh, coding how-tos, and stuff like that. So um, that's basically how you get started. And then once you've gotten your program written, you would uh, go to this developer portal, and then you would go ahead and you would be able to, um, and this is also, I'm sorry, where you would download the uh, SDK uh, that I was showing you, Xcode and all that stuff. All right. And then once you've gotten your program uh, written and finished and tested, you I come back to this web page here and uh, once you go into your your profile there will be a, a spot for you to upload your program and there's a video in here under the getting started videos unfortunately it's going to launch iTunes here instead of showing me the web page but there's a, a getting started videos here that will walk you through the sessions for that and they also have one on how to uh, how to uh, design, develop, um, how to upload your your um, applications to uh, uh, up to the App Store. So I hope this helps out, and uh, good luck.